an incredibly talented actor joining me now. What an honor. The one and only Vigo Mortensen, a versatile actor, one who knows many languages and, like we need to love you anymore, a huge Habs fan, although we'll upset some people out there right now. Good to see you. Your latest film is Far From Run. It actually premiered, its world premiere was at uh, in the Venice Film Festival. That's right. And North we American have our premiere. North American premiere today. Fortunately, in the slot before uh, David Cronenberg's Maps of the Stars, which everybody's going to go see. Yeah, because you two, of course, have an incredible relationship. Something like, what, three films within a span of six years together. Huge critical oh. acclaim. You guys have that chemistry. Is, is it to the point now where he calls you up for a role because he knows what you'd like? Does he tailor it to you? No, we're always talking about stories, things that are interesting. You never know where the financing's going to come, even for Loin des Hommes, for Far From Men, the, the movie that uh, I'm showing here today. Uh, it took us a few years, took them a couple, three years at least, to, to find the money, you know, to make yeah. that movie, even though it was a modest budget. But it's a beautiful story. You've so. dedicated, you know, your career for years now to these, what we call the smaller independent films, and good on you for getting them out there because yeah. of your star status. You really pick roles and films that mean something to you. What is it about this one in particular tonight, 5 p.m., go see him at the Winter Garden Theatre? Far From Men um, or Loin des Hommes? Loin des Hommes, Far From Men, is, is uh, set in Algeria in 1954, just the start of the war for independence from France. And I play a school teacher, Algerian-born school teacher. <clears throat> the movie's in French and Arabic, and I have to escort a villager, an Arab to justice. He's apparently murdered someone and uh, and uh, but I the a relationship developed between the two men and in the middle of this war that's just beginning. It's a beautiful beautiful story and uh, great great places as you can see. Yeah the elements the Atlas mountains. Were tough. Yeah. How did you get through that the physicality as well as taking on the mental toll of, of the character and everything that they go through. And this journey, it's a true journey of self-discovery, and it shows there is no black and white. There's a ton of gray in life. That's true. But uh, being a Habs fan, nothing's going to get me down. No, <laughs> okay. no so, terrain. No. Uh, we are one month away from the season, and uh, I have to tell you that everybody on our shoot was a Habs fan, and that flag right there, which yeah. is this flag. I love this. You brought that Habs flag. Come on. Fighting words in Toronto right now. This oh flag. Oh my gosh, you didn't. This flag was flying in the Atlas Mountains every day. Why the Habs? You've been wearing this shirt through so many films, from you know Aragorn to uh, History of Violence. You keep wearing it. Why the love for the Habs? How did this guy from New York develop such a love for the Habs? Well, I was I was lucky to get to know the. Uh, Montreal Canadiens in the uh, 70s, in the glory years of Guy Lafleur and, and all those great players, the Scotty Bowman team, so is it it's hard true? not to be a fan. Is it true I read somewhere that you used to listen to the radio because you didn't have cable and that's how you also uh, comprends le français? Oui, je commençais à apprendre le français uh, uh, à cause de, de, du Canadien. Right. You you speak and learn languages seemingly <laughs> effortlessly. I mean, do you Rosetta Stone it in between roles? What, no. is, what is Vigo taking in all this information? Now, when I was a little kid, I grew up in South America with Spanish and English, and my dad's Danish, so I was hearing a lot of languages. I think when you when you're a kid, if you're bilingual, it's easier to pick up other ones. This this movie, Far From Men, is in French, but it was like having to start anew because I had to really change the way that I speak French, which is more or less okay, but definitely with a, with a slight uh, Quebecois yeah. accent, and yeah. I couldn't do that there. <laughs> and also Arabic, which I had to learn from scratch. Yeah, Arabic is, is a whole, it must have been, a, it's very foreign. It's not like mm. anything else for you to learn. So how did you, is it just a matter of memorizing? Yeah, I had a coach, down? I had a coach for a few months before starting, and then we had uh, an Algerian speaking uh, teacher an Algerian Arab uh, dialect uh, speaking teacher who helped me and Reda Kateb, who's a really fine French actor, who's the other lead in the movie. He plays my prisoner, you know. And uh, every day the guy was there, his name was Salah, and he helped us with, with the Arab. And I, I really liked that, I loved it. And the kids, you just saw a flash of it. Uh, yeah. The school where I, way up in the mountains, these kids are all Arab. Uh, speaking and some Berber speaking. Some of them didn't speak French. Um, 
which was trickier, but it was really fun. Well, congratulations. You are such a brilliant actor, and thank you for, for continuously taking part in these movies with a message that make us think, that stretch our minds. You know, there's a craving for that, and you're in the right city for it during TIFF. So enjoy it all, and make sure you see him. Vigo will be on that carpet tonight for the North American premiere. It is called Far From Men, or you say it, Luen de Zom, so much better. Luen de Zom. What he said. <laughs> At the Winter Garden Theater, 5 p.m. Thank you so much, and thank you. go Habs. Go Brave Habs. Man. You'll be carrying that everywhere. Jan, over to you at Live Eye. <laughs>